Everest is based on the true story that happened in 1996 of a group of climbers who scaled Mount Everest but not everybody made it back alive. You do see deaths in the film and they're presented in a very unremarkable matter of fact fashion. One minute you're watching somebody climb across a cliff face, the next minute they're just gone. So it, there's a very real sense of that's how it happens, you're there one minute and gone the next. Death really does come that quickly. You do see people freezing as they suffer the effects of the cold climate. In fact you do see frozen bodies which are littered along the trail as people have just frozen to death and been left there. You see the effects of frostbite and hypothermia. So you see blackened, bloodied uh, skin, mostly hands and fingers as well as some uh, noses and facial, any area of skin which is kind of exposed suffers these effects of the exposure. In terms of the altitude sickness, you see people coughing up blood, you see breathlessness and you see irrational behavior and blurred vision. You do see some climbers uh, lose their footing and traverse sort of down the mountains to some extent. They're not injured or harmed, but you do see other climbers being knocked out of the way and you get that sense of tension and fear that something bad is going to happen. Um, you do see somebody inject themselves with uh, a prescription drug. You don't see the needle entering the skin, but you do see the syringe. You also see a box of prescription drugs being handed to another climber to, just to help the effects of the altitude sickness. You do, don't see any sex, there's no sex or nudity in the film at all. Um, the only thing you do see is one man sitting in his shorts, so you, he's not wearing any shirt, and you see a husband kiss, kiss his wife goodbye at an airport when he heads off for the expedition. There's no swearing in the film at all, no offensive language. What you do, do see though is quite incredible camera work and some of it is quite sweeping across the mountain face and uh, it can be a little bit dizzying as the camera sort of moves up high and directs it, its attention down towards as far as it can see uh, down the mountain. So if you do suffer vertigo, you might sort of feel a sense of that, particularly in, the, in 3D. You also very much get a clear sense of the danger of climbing Mount Everest and the hopelessness. It does look very cold and this is one of the rare films where you really do get that sense of just how hopeless their situation is and how desperate they become and how awful and uh, difficult it would be to survive this kind of disaster. It's quite an incredible film, remarkable film and it does deserve to be watched on 3D and on, on VMAX if you can or IMAX if you can. It's directed by Balthazar Kormakor and Jason Clarke leads an ensemble cast of international actors in the film. You can read more about Everest and my full breakdown of the movie at cinemum.net.